Hello Virgos, welcome to your end of July love reading. I'm gonna get the messages for you, highest messages from spirit. I'm gonna look at you, of course, first, everything around you, what, all the things that might be happening in your relationships. And then I'll look at a person, potential, um, could be somebody you're dealing with, somebody that could be a potential coming towards you and uh, so forth. So just uh, like and subscribe and show me some love. And uh, this is for Virgos, Suns, and Risings, um, and any other placement that you feel called to. But but Sun and Rising, <clears throat> um, especially. So what's the highest message for my Virgos right now? My highest message for my Virgos right now. I'll do Aries to Pisces at the end, too, as always, for a little bonus. Um, such a curious dream. Such a curious card. Returning to reality, coming home, grounding, grounding yourself, All right? Completion of a cycle. Maybe you just kind of went through this whirlwind, right? And you're, you're feeling this sense of, you know, I was just talking about this yesterday, the alchemist went on this journey, kind of the journey I'm living in, you know, and then you go and seek and go and find and things out there only to return home and find, you know, that there was nothing out there. It was all at home. And now it's time to come down to reality and figure out exactly what it is you really want. And, um, and it's, it's fun. It sounds like, you know, things have been fun and maybe a situation happened in your life with a relationship and it just, it was curious to you, <clears throat> you know, and you explored it. And now you're coming down to reality and you're like, maybe this isn't what I wanted. Right? It could be as simple as that. So let's see, Virgo. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good end of the month here for closing of a chapter. Um, whether it's your life, your, your situation, job, mind, mindset. Um we've got the Emperor card. Look at this. Taking action, building the foundations. Building a strong foundation for the future. Really making your dreams into a reality now. Grounding in on exactly what you really want. So Aries North Node could be really showing up for you in a sense. You know, we have eight. If you're Virgo Rising, you have eighth house um, uh, Aries. And so and you could have Chiron and Aries. And it's, it's healing energy. It's doing the work. It's healing. Um, and it's also uh, endings and beginnings and merging and merging with oneself and merging with one's true desires and dreams, right? The emperor says, okay, it's time to take action to build the foundation, have some confidence, take charge. All right, so Aries energy is really showing up for you here. So let's see you. Let's see my beautiful Virgos, eight of wands and the emperor again. <clears throat> travel things might be picking up speed for you accelerating as soon as you get your plan in motion coming back home get your plan in motion and things are going to accelerate for you pretty pretty quickly all right the sage wise energy you've learned a lot five of swords right you've been dealing with some confusion or some mental stress and you know this is this is where you're finally clearing that up. And then the six of wands comes in and says, all right, you know, kind of got confused, kind of got a little bit off course here. Um, if you're dealing with some mental stress or uncertainty in your life situations, it could be, oh, that was the cat. Sorry. It could be because um, you need to return back down to reality, come home and go back to your original plan. All right. That's all that means. Have the king of water. Right? Emotional mastery, self-care, patience, love for oneself, being calm, calm in your mind, coming back home, taking care of yourself, trusting your intuition, and deepening your connections uh, with yourself and others. Could be a king of water around you. It could be a king of water that is confusing you, or somebody's confusing, your emotions are confused with somebody, right? Um, and this is where the whole grounding thing and returning to reality and coming back home to what it is you truly desire, right? We have healing. A lot of healing happened in here for you. 
emotional healing, mental healing, and maybe healing with a relationship. Look at this, the Three of Swords. Discovering why everything happened or how, you know, how it's playing out for you. Um, healing heartbreak. You really, this is a good energy for my Virgos. You're really ready to build a strong foundation. You've wisened up and you've grown so much. Look at you. Destiny is changing for you. Your course is changing for you. An unexpected, nothing, to me, destiny is karma, you know. It's our, it's all the things we've done that play out for us. And if we make the right choices, destiny, and we're for following our path. We're following our higher self and we have goals and plans in play and we have faith and belief. Um, destiny is, we can write our own destiny. Um, but I do see something changing for you. Destiny might be taking you down a different path. Your true beliefs and wants and values might be taking you down a different path. Don't fear it. Let's see um, <clears throat> who might be around you, coming towards you. Um, on your mind or you might even be in a relationship with already but let's see tell me something about this person that um, is entering or is in Virgo's life the wheels changing for you my friends Virgo positive change for you a lot of healing happened in here and a lot of um, a course. It's like a course change. You're being rerouted when GPS, when you went down a wrong path, but you were exploring um, and now you're being rerouted on the right path. So hopefully this person that's coming towards you is the path is the right path. Got the eight of cups here evolving. I've got the moon card could be a Pisces. Uh, could be Cancerian energy, but there's some change in circumstances over here. Ooh, the Hermit card. Person could be at a distance, could be a Virgo, but they've got you on their mind. Certain, they're thinking about you. They have feelings for you. There might be some un, they might be hiding their feelings. Something hasn't been revealed yet. Moon card, you know, is. Is the card of we can let our fears get in the way and, uh, and create illusions um, and make us go crazy, or, you know, and it's usually fear based, but also the moon can illuminate beautiful, beautiful dreams when we don't let our fear and anxiety hold us back or skew our perception. You've got somebody who's been on a long journey towards you. And maybe this person has yet to be revealed, but they definitely have you on their mind with that hermit card showing up. Ace of Cups, how they view you, the Ace of Cups. You may have been some, you might be somebody this person's been waiting for for a long time. There, there could have been a block in the road block on the path of how to get to you. Maybe it was distance. Maybe they feel like you're withdrawn or you've withdrawn from them. That's a death card though. A lot of change happened in here. Wanting to bring something to life or wanting to start something new with you. I've got the nine of cups. Seeing a relationship, seeing happiness with you. So you are, your course is changing, Virgo. You're being rerouted for a reason. Follow the signs. Return back down to reality. Come home. Maybe, maybe it's about going home. Maybe it's about, you know, what you were looking for, what you were seeking, you know, is, was so confusing because it wasn't what was real for you. And now you can go back to reality and the person that's meant to be in your life is showing up for you. If you're somebody that's, you know, um, healing from heartbreak with that three of swords and the five of swords. 
you know, and it can it can read out too that this person wants an, a new beginning. They they have a lot of love for you. If there's been a block in the road or distance, um, even if this is a current situation, I got a King of Wands. I got an Aries Leo Sag. Right. I see evolving. I see somebody um, voicing their truth to you. That's for sure. Somebody might be voicing their truth to you. And the three of wands here. So I see possibility of relocation. Um, there's a little bit of distance. There might be somebody, maybe somebody's moving in closer. Or maybe you're moving closer. Um, and the knight of wands. So we see a new adventure on, on the horizon. I get a strong Aries Leo Sag. Pisces. All right, so let's see anything else about this relationship. Anything else about this relationship that Virgo needs to know? I feel terrible for hurting you. I abandon people to make myself feel better. You are the person of my dreams. The moon card. All right. I was pretending to be somebody else, Virgo. There was secrets and deceptions here with that moon card too. Somebody wasn't being honest with you. You know, the twin flame thing, you guys know how I feel about twin flames now. It's like, I don't want to get caught up in those situations. If they're, 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 anything's possible. Um, but twin flame, uh, I'm looking at it more like they could be a soulmate for you. Um, and they could, if you still, if you believe in the twin flame, they could be a twin flame for you, Virgo. It's just <clears throat> some of those twin flame stories can be really heartening and disheartening. All right. So that's what I've got for you. And uh, let's see Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces for my Virgos. Aries, lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. Taurus, I feel safer in the silence. Gemini, I'm in a much better headspace now. Cancer, no other compares to you. Leo, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Virgo, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Libra, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Scorpio, I'm reminded of you constantly, Virgo. Sagittarius, I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Capricorn, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Aquarius, my mind and heart always come back to you. And Pisces, our connection still affects me. All right, guys, I love you. Take care and see you soon.